making lead-ins instant and impactful. As I mentioned previously here in the animation category, the lead-in is the pose that comes between the button press and the actual attack. It's sometimes otherwise known as the anticipation or wind-up. For more details, take a look at my Breaking Down Attack Animations video. When charging a smash attack in Smash Bros Ultimate, characters will pause on their lead-in pose and shake in place. Let's look at a few examples. There's something we do here that's quite different from other games. The moment the button is pressed, the character's pose drastically changes. Normally, you'd interpolate from the standby pose to try and avoid having the animation skip. But in Smash Bros, responsiveness is key. So we do our best to provide immediate feedback to the player. There's no way to completely eliminate lag from network or TV problems but we can let players know right away that their input was received. That's the ideal. By the way, there are actually some attacks that have no lead-in at all. For example, Zero Suit Samus's neutral attack. The attack comes out one frame after the input. That's right. You don't need a lead-in to make the game work. Take the jab from Final Fight. It's instantaneous, and you can throw out a lot of them quickly. Nice and responsive, right? That said, for online gameplay, the wind-up before an attack can help cover gaps caused by network lag. And without a nice big wind-up or lead-in, your attacks might end up lacking visual impact. So just making them as quick as possible isn't always going to be the best solution. Whatever you do, just be sure to consider input response when thinking about how to implement those lead-ins. Stage clear.